Hello everyone and welcome to our Technique Tuesday for the first week of February. Um, today we're going to be focusing on the buttonhole features on the Solaris and Luminaire. Um, it is a little different on other machines, so maybe we'll do another Technique Tuesday where we focus on creating buttonhole stitches and how to manipulate them on the other machines. Uh, the first place I want to show you where those buttonhole features are, are actually on the embroidery side under the sewing stitches on the Solaris It's folder number 6. And you can see under this first tab, which is labeled number 1, we have tons and tons of buttonhole stitches. This isn't um, something that we are going to be doing, but I like pointing it out because it's a unique feature that's on this machine. We're going to go home and go into sewing. And at the top here, we have different tabs. I'm going to click on number four to access all of my buttonhole stitches. And I'm just going to use a standard square buttonhole stitch for this. So um, when it comes to doing a buttonhole stitch on the Solaris and Luminaire, we have a unique foot. With this foot, it comes with a stabilizer. It's like a little um, attachment. So if you have something really thick or really thin, it's going to help your buttonhole um, and your fabric proceed as it's stitching out that buttonhole. So bringing you closer to the machine, let's put our buttonhole foot on. Unlike other machines, this buttonhole foot is going to sit with the button facing towards us. This is where our button is going to sit. I'm just going to grab a bobbin in place of a button. Okay, so putting our buttonhole foot on, it's going to slide on from the back. We're going to put our presser foot down. And then I'm going to use a bobbin in place of a button which I have a pre one bobbin right here. I'm gonna stick that down and cinch this so it's taut. So what's unique about this is that the camera is recognizing the dots on our buttonhole foot to set the size of our buttonhole. And since this is sitting towards us, it's a lot easier to change out our buttons if we were doing a bunch of projects. Right now, my slit length is marked off. My length is at 0.4 and that's like the tightness of my buttonhole stitching and then my width is at a five but that can change as we go through um we're gonna put our foot down i don't have a foot control plugged in so i'm just going to use our start stop button so i switched my bobbin out for an actual button <laughs> the height of the bobbin was covering these two dots and see how this goes oh, red okay so now i'm gonna press start and it's going to stitch out a perfectly sized buttonhole for this button. Wow! Now let's touch our scissors to give that a cut. It already locked it in place and look at how perfect that is. So a new feature on this is actually with the upgrade too. So moving back over to the screen. Oop. Sorry for the camera. <laughs> okay, um, with our buttonhole selected, we're gonna go under our stitch editor icon and then come down here to where our buttonhole feature is. And now we can adjust the slit length. So I can actually increase this all the way to 47 millimeters. Isn't that insane? Let's stitch that out and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna set this up. I'm gonna give it plenty of distance um, from the back. <laughs> because <laughs> it's going to be a big buttonhole. We got to go. trying to hold the camera so it doesn't vibrate too much for you. You can see how absolutely insane that buttonhole is so 
big. So now you don't have to hoop up your projects and bring them into embroidery to get a larger buttonhole. You can create those super large buttonholes on the sewing side of your machine. So let's take a look at how big this is in comparison to our other buttonhole. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that insane? So that is a new feature with the upgrade too. Just having the ability to adjust the slit length to be perfectly sized for the type of buttonhole you need, I think is amazing. And that's gonna be great too for larger buttonhole stitches because the buttonhole foot only goes, it's pretty large already, but it's even larger than our buttonhole stitching here. So, or the buttonhole, the ability to adjust the slit length is larger than our buttonhole foot can hold a button. <laughs> um, I hope you really enjoyed today's Technique Tuesday, um, and I hope you're able to take something away from this. Thank you for watching and supporting our page um, and our store, and we will see you around.